So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxy, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Vladimir Klitschko has decided to retire from the sport of boxing, Vladimir Klitschko will not be taking his rematch with Anthony Joshua, and this fight looked like it was going to happen, it looked like it was almost confirmed. They had a date ready for the fight. Um, it was meant to happen in Las Vegas, apparently. But now Vladimir Klitschko has decided, you know what? I can't get up for a second fight, so I'm going to retire. And in a way, this is the right move for Vladimir Klitschko. He's been in boxing, what, 21 years as a professional. Spent the majority of them years as a world champion in the heavyweight division. And I just don't think he could get himself mentally ready for the rematch with Anthony Joshua. I think he pushed himself to the limit in the first fight. And I just don't think he could get to that stage again like he was in the first fight mentally. Like, Vladimir Klitschko showed heart in that first fight. And that's something Vladimir Klitschko has really done in his career. He showed a lot of heart in that fight against Anthony Joshua. But he just wasn't enough. Anthony Joshua was the hungrier, younger fighter. And don't get me wrong, Vladimir Klitschko was close to ending the show against um, Anthony Joshua in the sixth round. But it just wasn't meant to be, and Anthony Joshua prevailed in the 11th round, stopping him. And a lot of people are thinking, why didn't he take the rematch? Because he was close in that fight. But at the end of the day, could he get himself to that level again? Could he get himself mentally prepared? That's all what I'm thinking, because a lot of boxing, a lot about boxing, I mean, is mental. It's about your mentality and can you get yourself up for them big fights because 90,000 people at Wembley I just don't think he'll be able to get himself up again for a second fight in front of a smaller crowd and in a fight where he's coming off a loss where it's a rematch in which the first fight he lost so I just don't think he'll be able to get himself up for that so in the right way this is the right move for Vladimir Klitschko in my opinion What's next for Anthony Joshua? A lot of people are saying, Yo, Anthony Joshua can fight John A. Wilder now. He can fight John A. Wilder. No. He can't fight John A. Wilder. He's got mandatories. And I think it looks like he's going to fight Kubrat Pulev in October. I think that's going to be announced very soon. In October or November, he's going to fight Kubrat Pulev. And that's a good fight for Anthony Joshua. Kubrat Pulev, decent boxer. Not the most powerful heavyweight out there, but he has got some skills and he is a top five heavyweight in the world in my opinion so it's a good fight for Anthony Joshua it's not the fight that people are desperate to see but it is a mandatory and fighters have to take their mandatory so yeah Vladimir Klitschko retires from boxing that's the big news of the day it's JM it's free boxing